welcome everybody to the Game of Thrones mod. Yesterday, due to a hilarious bureaucratic error regarding some sort of uh, lords and uh, the Mega War system, we lost half of our RAM. It was literally split in half. Not nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with this losing a war. Nothing to do with any legitimate rebellion, succession, anything like that. Was just a game glitch. I put it to you guys: Do you want me to use the console? And almost everybody unanimously said to use the console. So I'm not going to use the console. But bear with me. There's a reason I'm not going to do it. The only thing I'd be able to really do with the console is destroy the Empire level title. It's not like I can go in there and make her swear fealty because she's an Empire level title. So all I could do is give her the Kingdom of the North and make her swear fealty after that. But it wouldn't really feel right. I mean, it, it, it it's changing the structure massively in our favor because of a glitch. I feel like I'm the only thing I can do would end up us being more powerful than we actually were, if that makes sense. So what I'm thinking is we've got a we've, we've got a bloodline anyway for winning foreign wars, right? We, we've got to win another few foreign wars. We want to get the hybrid bloodline because you guys have told me that the, the, the hybrid bloodline between murdering and executing 30 people and winning the foreign wars, the conqueror slash uh, murderer one is incredibly good. I don't really remember off the top of my head. I'm sure we've had it before. Don't remember the, the combinations too well. So we'll try and go for that. And, and you know, obviously, we've still got to win a few more foreign wars here. I want to get something. That's the point. I want to get something out of it. And what we'll do is we'll try and get up to 14 foreign wars and we'll try and get as close to 29 um, out of the 30 people as possible murdered. And then hopefully that should fire the hybrid bloodline, right? At, at least I think that's how it works. Or maybe you do need to fulfill one, but then it'll consider if you've got points in another. Not sure. But I'm going to get as close as possible to it. Now, there's another good reason I want to do this. It means that we gain the North back. We don't have to keep it as a vassal. We don't have to keep it as a big rebellious vassal. We just get it for ourselves. We we take the North for ourselves, which means we've just got to balance all the Lords of the North. Now, I think we've done a pretty good job of balancing the Lords and the Dukes. So this is actually, weirdly enough, kind of a blessing in disguise. And I feel like if I use the console, I'm missing out on a big opportunity here. She does. Who inherits? Of the Narrow Seer's Tower. Incredible. Oh, the other thing I've done as well. Yesterday, you might remember we had a Harren Hall event, which make, made one of our towers collapse. It was like, oh, you need to rebuild Harren Hall first, you big loser. But obviously, Harren Hall doesn't exist for another several thousand years. So I've removed the Harren Hall event so that we should be able to build up Emmons Rest like it was just any old regular castle. Um, a shit castle, obviously, because there's nothing built in there. But it, it's a long-term plan, but should be really, really good given enough time and investment into it, rather than it collapsing every 30 seconds for something we can't control. So that plan's still on. We've got the North lined up ready. I think we've got more than enough troops to, to take them. Yeah, we've got like 11,000. They've got what? 9,000? It'll be close, especially because they will have the... Uh, do they not get bonuses to winter attrition or something like that? Um... Morris isn't. Oh, this is interesting. Look at that. Cannot take lovers as concubines. It's a traditional anti slavery culture, more resistant to the effects of a severe winter, but they don't have what we have, which is, is a backwards culture making troops less effective. They have stronger troops than us, even though they're still first men in the same year. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Um. Wow, okay, so that's annoying. So they are actually stronger than us, probably even with the with the 3,000 troop difference. Okay, this is going to be risky. This is going to be very risky. What I'll do then, oh my god, look at our domain troops. What we'll do is we'll, we'll wait for our troops to reinforce a little bit, because I'm sure our maximum reinforced troop count is much more than their maximum reinforced troop count. Um, they've got another 5,000 or so troops to reinforce. Well, barely that, like 4,000 or so. We have another... Yeah, we have another 6,000 troops to reinforce. Oh, plus another 2,000 from vassals as well. If we give it enough time, the issue is I do, we are on a time limit in the sense that our character is declared incapable only 65. He could die at any second. So I'm thinking we need we need to go back to the... I mean, what, what's the highest health bonus in the Game of Thrones mod? I guess it would be hunting focus, get the hunting dog again. So we'll go for that one. There's also a chance when training a hunting dog, if you've already got diligent, you can get one health from it. So that would also work in our favor, right? We'll try and do that. We'll try and live for as long as possible. But we do want to get this bloodline forged as well, because it'd be a real shame to miss out on this. What else can I do to increase the level reinforcement rate? I think I've got everything. Yeah, so we've got our Hand of the King Pass in the province. We've got our Master Arms Training Troops. It is a Sea Guard, isn't it, where the majority of our troops come from? It absolutely is. Okay, what about Emmons Rest? There's a lot of troops to come from here, obviously because we've actually upgraded the towers, about 900 troops or so. Um, and what have we got on this one? Oh, that one's quite unreinforced as well. We'll start with Seaguard because that has more troops overall, but we might actually want to move them over to Emmons Rest at some stage. Okay, what else can I do to increase the level reinforcement rate? Well, that we can draw the troops with our Household Guard, which we need to establish, which we are incapable of, so can't do. Ha ha ha, very funny. Okay, let's acquire some ingredients then, fuck it. We, we can go out picking flowers even if we're not allowed to rule anymore. Um, kick some courses out, get some gold, and maybe be able to hire some mercenaries? Unfortunately not. I might have to employ as many people as possible... Trade masters and the like. High stewardship characters to banish them and take their gold. That actually might work. Um, besides that, my god, we could go on a foreign tour even though we've been declared incapable. I guess they just want him to have a nice retirement or something like that. Um, not really much else we can do at this stage. We're a shit character though, my god. 255518. Because of course, declaring him capable doesn't affect, uh, doesn't affect learning there. 
All we can really do now is just wait and pray that our guy hangs on in terms of life, really. You absolute motherfucker. My, uh, my son, Prince Island, has been seeking a title from Lord Richard Maynard. Master Maynard has decided to... Uh, sorry, Maester Maynard. He's our Maester. Has decided to accept his position and has decided to give us Emmons Rest. Which I am thoroughly fucking livid about. Given that that was... And now Land's pissed off at us because we apparently gave Land... No, wait, what? Prince Land's opinion... Oh, we've got another kid called... Oh, a nephew. Our nephew, Prince Land, is pissed off at us because apparently I gave my son, Prince Land, a title that I didn't actually give him or want to give him ever. Great. Okay. Um, this declutter cable thing is really going to fuck us, isn't it? Is there any way... Is there any way we can stop this from happening? How do we take back power? I don't think we can unless we lose our lunatic tick trait, can we? Because they've got a legitimate reason to declare us incapable. Oh. There we go. Nice. I, I had no idea this was a thing. You can't... Can I... <laughs> you can only trick one of the guards. I have a feeling this is a base game event, isn't it, right? You can only trick one of the guards into leaving your door to your tower unlocked. After escaping the castle, you kick open the door to the main chamber where your jackal regent Maynard sits between... sits bewildered on your throne. As the confused courtiers whisper to each other, you battle at the top of your lungs, hear me, I'm the rightful king of this land. Lose trait. Oh. Oh, that... Where is that traitorous maester? Can we lock him up? Surely we can. Siege in power... Siege, siege in power like that? Is that a dishonorably... Chuck him in the prison. Chuck him in the prison. Should we execute him? Can we execute him? Uh, it can increase our tyranny, though. We could call him for trial. Um, just castrate him. That seems fair enough. Okay. Um, turn into slavery. Oh, God. Humiliate like he humiliated us. I think that's also quite fair. Torture him. I suppose we could torture him. Give it, order him to torture him as punishment for tricking us in. Let's call him for, let's call him for trial first. I don't want to accidentally accrue any tyranny here. And, and you know, basically prove him right, huh? So Orion shall interrogate him. He made a reasonable case and he has been found guilty. Kill him. Put his head on a spike. And let this be a message to any other people who would declare glorious King Potting Mix. Tear his back. No, 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 no. Boil him. Oh, man. What's the, what's the most? Yeah, wall him up in the tomb. That's got to be the most lethal way of dealing with people like this. Done. That should be a very clear message to the round that we are not to be fucked with like that again. That was that was way too much power we lost. We've lost our captain. Can I revoke it? I'm sorry, I might have to. Um, can we imprison him? Is he... Shit. I'm going to start antagonizing him in the hopes that we can we can revoke this title somehow. Because this really, really sucks. Looking to get him thrown somewhere, we can just launch a, a tirade of insults at him whenever we can. And then hopefully that will eventually make him hate us and then start plotting against us. Then we can just off him somehow. Now, if we got auto stop plots turned off? We haven't. That's good news. Okay, so we keep close on that. Who's trying to piss off with this? Oi, stop that right now. Don't kill my son. He's actually really, really good, if you don't mind. Besides that, I'm not too concerned about any of these other plots. Wow, that really, really... Ah, oh, damn it. Courtly love part of one. Never mind. Um, okay, rank up. We can now go to the rank of Grand Master. There is a chance we can get a rare elixir. D I'm not going to spoil it. Because I, I I don't know how rare this event is. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's very very cool. Something that's quite hard to achieve in the Game of Thrones mod, unless you worship Relor. So I'm just that's all I'm going to say. It would be very very cool to see. It. I've never seen it before because we very rarely play when magic is a thing in the Game of Thrones mod. Fingers crossed we actually get to see that at some stage. It's the Ryman has appeared. Good. L let, let me let me remind you what happened to the last guy, huh? So now that we are in control, what's happened here? Oh, cool. Okay, it's proven relations. Now that we're in control... Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. Because we've lost declared incapable, we've gained our marshal back, and that in turn has given us more troop count. 23,000 men. Yeah, we've got this in the bag. They've got 9,000. Yep, take it. So we're going to claim the whole fucking north. Basically, like I said, it, it was a game mechanic that made us lose this, but it is kind of a blessing because it means we no longer have to worry about a vassal king, no longer have to worry about any rebellions. How many times did the north go into rebellion at the end of the day? So they will honor their obligations. I'm sure they will. Let's get our troops together. This is going to be pretty massive. Oh, we've got to remember we've got the mercenaries as well. That's cool. All right. So band together over at, uh, I guess, Seaguard would be a pretty good place. Maybe we should wait for them to come down from the neck. And then kill them as they come through and, tr and try and cut them off in our territory rather than theirs. Because, you know, they're going to get the home ground advantage otherwise. Right, bring all these troops together. Let's see what we've got in terms of troops we can raise. Shame you can't sort it just by troops that you have vassalized that you can raise for free, obviously. Well, not free, but half the monthly cost. Um, right, give me a couple of these guys too. That'll do it. All right. So that's looking quite nicely at 25,000 men. Pretty sure this war is unlosable, but we do, of course, we are playing on a hard difficulty. We've also got the backwards coach modifier making our troops less effective. With some poor commanding, we could very easily lose it. So we've just got to make sure that we have uh, good commanders on our armies, and we've got to make sure I don't get hyper impatient. Oh, the next side is to sit it out. Interesting choice, House Reed, because they obviously quite like us a fair amount there. I guess it's also to do with the different culture thing, so he's Kranach Man, whereas we are, and they're Northmen. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe that has affected it to some extent. Oh, my granddaughter, Jizine Mud. <laughs> 
I'm not. I, I know I wasn't going to name these kids, but I can't let that fly. Jizine is not is not particularly. Corellan. Corellan is much much better than Jizine. Thank you. Okay, so our troops are more or less uh, more or less together at this stage now. The only the only problem with my strategy previously, whether I was going to sit here and wait for them to come to us, is that obviously we've got to worry about vassal levies being raised. So. And we're so close to a succession as well. I don't want to die and then lumber my next son with everybody hating us because we had levies raised. It just doesn't seem fair. Um, or would make our life very, very difficult too. So we'll um, we'll actually push the offensive here. We've got more than the troops to do it as well. If we lose a few troops to attrition here and there, doesn't really mind. Split the armies in half, something like that as well. Don't even the exposure. That would do it. Okay, fair enough. There we go. I don't want to piss these people off, but I also don't want to risk any more massive uprisings, rebellions, especially like this. We've, we've already empowered the council once. Don't want to have to do it again. Right, so split these guys in half. We got 12,000. Okay, so that's roughly the same side army there. Let's send our vanguard with the best troops possible. So we get Rocky, Hosta, and Daffin. Thank you, Daffin. Um, where are they going? Go to Grey. Oh, we've picked up some weird stuff. We picked up Mo Kalen and apparently Grey Cran. So send those guys up first. That way we shouldn't deal with too much attrition. Still get some, but probably not too much. Actually, it's looking all right. Um, oh god. Master Maester? Maester? He is a Maester. What? Mace is taking over the poor fellows. Um, we'll, we'll help you. I mean, I don't really want to too much, but I, I said I would, but it didn't do anything anyway. Right, then send these guys up afterwards to... No, we're all right. Send these guys up afterwards, go for the war goal. Um, by that, I mean Winterfell. So we'll have these guys kill their armies, which is apparently all split off anyway. That should make our lives very, very easy. Yeah, okay, here we go. So we've got 11,000 men. Ooh, that's a bit risky in hindsight. What, what have they got? Oh, river crossing. Shit, okay. Um, reinforce maybe quite quickly, but it shouldn't be a big deal, I don't think. We should still be okay. Oh, river crossing into that many troops with our backwards culture modifier. This actually might screw us a little bit. You know what? It's actually really good. We're fine. Did you see that? We, we immediately kicked things off with legendary tactics there. They have no commander on their left flank. 16 march on the right flank and 90 march on the center. We should be good. It's Oh, actually, no. It's getting a bit rocky now. No pun intended because our commander's called Rocky. Um, pay interest on behalf of our abandonment. Please reinforce. Come on. We, we it, Even if we win this, we're going to take a lot of unnecessary losses. That's my bad, really. Um, I think we're going to be fine. A daughter. A granddaughter. What's she like? Quick. Or oh, ast astute. Bright. Bright. Okay. It was not that good after all. Um, humility. Etica. I suppose we can at least marry her off to someone, right? Renessa. Renessa is a great name. I've lost my list, actually, of all my all my, uh, all my my earthly names. So um, I'm going to have to see what we got. We'll just go for a dirt. Just go for a dirt on that one. That's okay. Um, piss off. My god. The interruptions in this mod are insane, huh? I, I, I appreciate it because it gives you a lot to do all the time, but sometimes it's a little ridiculous. We might as well merge these troops. Now, what's the supply looking like? I mean, look, we still got like 27,000 supply there. Um, obviously, if we go more forward the north here, it gets... Oh, it actually gets a bit risky to merge those troops still. Fuck it. You know what? You, you keep heading north. Forget I said anything. These guys can handle it by themselves, I'm sure. There we go. And those guys are going to come in at such low morale now. We don't really need to worry about... Oh! Oh, turn cloaks. Very nice. So that means we get more supply there. Um, because, because it's not an enemy province, obviously. A strange man approaches you and tells me he's ready to buy an ingredient you have in your possession. Take my lemongrass. He's gonna make himself a lovely, a lovely tea. Right, you're all dead. Thank you very much. 71%. So we can still get a little bit more war score for chasing down his troops. But this was very, very easy. We go after the sack of Winsfell, I think we are basically done here. So we're gonna have to build a fort pretty fucking post haste, unfortunately. Move some of our best commanders over here. Try and mitigate some of this attrition, because I don't really want to lose my armies in a war that wasn't entirely necessary, like I said. Um Keep the information myself. You guys just you guys just get to see it. Honestly, stay where you are. We don't wanna we don't wanna waste a load of troops moving between promises. We can stay here, let the fort mitigate some of it, and let these guys actually get a decent siege in there too. And that should be it. They now pretty much can't stop us at all because he's got six hundred and twelve men. Hey, nice. Oh wait, who? No, I don't wanna I don't wanna know about that. Thank you. Great. So the Andals have annexed someone. Well, that's really great news for the round. Um they caught in the veil. Wait, who what? Are the veil pushing a our... Oh my god, they're pushing the claim on the north. Oh, uh, invasion, invasion of the north. Oh, my God. If we win this war, are we going to have to fight off the bloody veil as well? Um, I don't think we're going to win that, are we? Because they've got superior troops. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, this could be a problem. This could be a very unforeseen problem here. So, we take the north, but then we've got to deal with the veil as well. I don't think we've got the troop counts to do that. We'll have to drop some money on uh, mercenaries or something like that. You might as well go meet our troops in Winsfell and, and help out with the siege over there. Wow, this could be a problem. How many troops have the veil got? Did I say, like, 12,000? 10,000. They might not have caught in the Vale, but they have caught in Old Town. We apparently have 10,000 men uh, l about a day away from Seaguard. Oh, God. Yeah, less than uh, less than, less than than 20 days away from Seaguard. Okay. That makes life very, very difficult. Are we going to finish this siege before they get there? Uh, minus 2.5% every 12 days. Or 2.7% every 12 days. They are going to just turn up and assault that down, aren't they? What's up, Garrison? Yeah, they're just going to turn up and assault that down. Um, Stalwart Defender. 
Are they going to just be able to see you down and take his prisoner? Uh, headache. Oh, fuck. They can take... Okay, so they can't take his prisoner. Because we're leading troops, which I didn't want at all. But that's fine. Um, And we're about to die. Good. <laughs> okay. That's all right. Nothing to worry about. Okay, let's get all of our troops on this one unit. Lord Osric and all these other people who have defected from the north. Get them to join us in the Siege of Winterfell. We'll immediately head south. Oh, he's ransomed up. Fine, thank you. We'll immediately head south and, uh, and crush Old Town after that. And then we should be good. That should be that should be it. A bold move. Uh, this guy's decided to oh take the oh my god the Iron Islands is back in the control of Ironborn. That's fantastic news. Weirdly enough, it sounds strange that I'm saying that, but uh, genuinely is. Shit. So what is it like? Uh, hostile sieges then? Yeah. So so if we go back to Siege Windfell, quickly rush back, take Seaguard. Actually, we can just rush here, drop our troops, and re-raise them, and then take Seaguard. Bit risky because they might be able to cut some of our armies off here. I'll absolutely uh, ransom back all these people. Thank you. I don't think any of them count towards the war score, do they? Um. Oh, no, they do. It's minus 5% each. Okay, fair enough. So let's take Winsfeld. Then we'll deal with that afterwards. We might even be able to get her prisoner and just end the war instantly in a... In a, in a... Ooh. Paragon of Virtue. I don't think I want that. I, I do think we want the Murder Conquest bloodline. It's risky. I mean, we can either go for this bloodline, which is more likely to occur. Or, should I say, less risky, given that we are very, very ill and very, very old. No, ordinary means. Let's go for it. Let's go for something massively prestigious for this guy. Okay, Winsfeld falls. Um... <laughs> so does Seaguard, which is a big, 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 big whoopsie. We could just hire troops. Oh, I didn't want to have to do that, though, but I feel like we don't really have much of a choice. There's 200. Even if we do that, there's not going to be enough troops to be able to stop Seaguard at this point. How how long is it going to take us to get back home, do we think? Months? I imagine we might even die before then. Oh, God, he's got cancer, too. That sucks. Uh, shit. All right, seek treatment. D risk it. My life is in your hands. Come on. Come on. My life is in your hands. Double. Feel amazing? Nothing happened. Okay, we're fine. We just got successful experimental treatment. That's actually given us 0 0.05 health. Good. I, I will absolutely take that. Right, get get down there. And we'll try and take back Seagull as soon as possible. We're actually reinforcing or at least getting other people to join us on the way. Please stop asking to join my court. I'm never going to accept any new people. Should we fight them here? Fight them on the way through and then go and take back our stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Get, get out of here. Um, all them stand down because that way we don't. They just use minus 10 opinion, minus 20. And then give me that back. Thank you. This sucks. This, this sucks a big one, but fine. Oh, we're now the leader of the Alchemist Guild, so maybe we can magic away our illness. Fine. 50% level reinforcements, also really nice. Weirdly enough, this is actually maybe going to go okay. They just executed my great nephew. He was he was converted anyway, don't care. I, I've, I have no love for that boy. Right, kill off these armies. This is going to be dangerous. Oh my god, we're on the center. Why the fuck are we on the center? Ah. Uh, well, this is going to be an interesting battle. We've actually got him, though. Wow, that was... Crazy. Did you see that tactic in the middle there? Botched infantry charge. Good work. Go my core position at once. Quickly go and retake the capital. If we retake the capital... Oh my god, we wiped out all of the old town forces. Oh, there's 3,000 left there, sorry. Um, go take take back the capital, and then we should be able to end this war. As long as we can take back our capital before they take back Winterfell, which, let's be honest, doesn't look very promising, then we should be okay. It should end it there, I hope. I pray. He's also dead. Good. As far as I'm concerned, good. Because that's another one we don't have to worry about. That's, that's more war score back towards us because they are dying. Actually, you know what is a better tactic? I wouldn't I wouldn't normally do this. So I'd try and save the money. But I'm actually just going to hire troops to go and take back Seaguard. Just very, very quickly send them over there. And just assault it down before the, the other guys can take back Winterfell. Right, here we go. Um, I am nothing. Cam Siege, 79%. Oh my god, is that all? I thought we'd have enough to win at this point. Fuck it then. Okay. Um, we're going to have to go back and take back some more land. And we're going to have to kill back Old, old, old Town. we we'll have to kill Old Town as well. This is, uh, this has gotten, this has gotten really complicated. Wait, this was way more than I signed up for. Oh, Lord Land is a leader of a plot, is he? Chuck her in prison. Chuck her in prison. Chuck him in prison. Call him for trial. He'll remain in the dungeon. Trial by combat. Can we fight, can we fight him in the trial by combat? Um, I won't let one of my sons risk their lives, perhaps. Oh, that, you have that right. He's demanding the trial, but he's going to fight his own trial. Oh my God. This might kill two birds with one stone, quite literally. We'll be able to deal with our treacherous son and we'll get back Emmons rest. Wow. Um, okay, so he's got 71 personal comments. He was actually quite a tank. Theomar Blackwood? I send Theomar Blackwood. Come on, Theomar. The future of our capital relies on you. He's done it. He's been slain. We got that. We got we got Emmons rest back. Did we? We, we didn't. We did. What? Domain? <laughs> uh, oh, it's called God's Fort, isn't it? Okay. Problem solved. It was a little bit janky, but problem solved there. Good work. He was a traitor. He was a traitor to the round. He fought in a trial by combat. The old gods determined his fate, and his fate was determined unworthy. Oh my god, I'm so glad we built that fort in hindsight, because that's actually slowed them down enough for us to get back there and kill their troops for the can siege. Nice work.
We just assault the rest down. I think we've got the... Yeah, we've got the numbers to do it now. Fuck it. 86%. This is it. This is the end of the wall right here. Good work. Well done, everyone. That was, that was a great... Or, or not. Might not actually be the end of the wall. Hang on a minute. Wow. I tried to sit up in bed, but someone is holding me down. It's the burly answer with the trustworthy faith. I, I, faith? Face? I promoted to guard last week. Another assistant is trying to force the rag into my mouth. Holding my nose, too. I can't breathe. All right, go on, then. I, I wonder who it was. Was it you, you utter fuck? Alice Aaron? Sounds, sounds reasonable. Oh, my God. That's such a Game of Thrones thing. Us and House Aaron at war for the same province they have us killed. With their and all money. I can't believe that. King Potting Mix takes his last breath at the age of 69. Nice. He died under suspicious circumstances. A prestigious man. Potting Mix's deeds and exploits were spoken throughout the known world. May he now rest in peace with the gods. No bloodline. No bloodline after all. So close. So close to being a man of prestige. And then House Aaron took it away from us. I mean, we obviously our characters know that we know it from a meta perspective, but now they've accidentally uncorked Gotta Damarung here because we are planning to go with 25 fucking Marshall up from eight. They have unleashed Ragnarok on themselves, and honestly, I'm, lo I'm looking forward to this. Um, sure, okay, whatever. We get some money, fuck it. We get no money, by the way, because apparently we get the land, so we don't get the money. It doesn't make much sense, but hey. Um, by the Mud family, we can't afford it. Like, that actually may have just ruined our war here. That's fine. Why also, can I ask, have we... Why also can I ask if we lost war score? Oh my god, because the old, they hold our air prisoner. Oh my god, that sucks. So she's gone from being worth minus 5% war score to minus 50% war score. We'd be at minus 99% right now. Uh, plot to rescue from prison, 34%. Oh, that sucks so, so, so much. Return to the old ways. Oh my god, is he faith of the seven? You Get back. Get out of there. Get out. Go back. Convert back. Oh my god, it won't let me convert back. Is he zealous? Why are you and why are you Andal? You traitor! We're gonna we're gonna absolutely go back. I think we have to be at peace, so we'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Wow. This has really gone to shit. That was weird. I picked the war focus and our religion flip, so I guess it was just waiting for something to update. I don't know, but there we go. We're, we're back to the old ways now, so we haven't got anything to worry about. Um, besides the fact that our mercenary bands are all walking out on us, because now we have no gold because our father was selfish enough to die. Okay, um, this, this sucks. This sucks so much. Um, oh, we can join the Warriors Guild or the Berserkers now, I guess, given that we've got 103 personal combat. We've never actually had any official training. Might not be such a bad idea. Let's set up the council. Let's make sure our realm isn't going to now collapse because of a succession. Um, <laughs> Lewis, Cap I mean, let's sort by rank. Let's just give it to, uh, to decent councillors then. Um, Elmar, Lord of the Trident, welcome aboard. Master of Laws. Again, I'm going to sort by rank right now and just try and keep the realm together a little bit. Looking for someone with at least decent... Diplomacy, who's also a Duke. Why are all our Dukes just absolute garbage? I can't believe this. Okay. Um, give it to this guy, seeing as he's on the verge of going into rebellion anyway. Master at Arms. Surely we've got some decent Dukes with some. Yeah, there we are. You'll do. Welcome, Lord of Rosby. Master of Whispers. Fine. I mean, he hates us, but that's that's a start, I guess. We'll, we'll try and give out some honorary titles. I assume we've got some kicking around spare. Um, no Maester and our Priest. There we go. This is not good. I'm not going to lie. This is actually not good at all. We've got a lot of uh, very angry people kicking around right now. Um, what can I do? What can I do right now? We could take out a loan and then commission a sepulchre. That would give us a uh, plus 10 opinion. I think we just need to win this war. I mean, we just need to get this goddamn war out of the way. I, I can't believe that we're so held back now by our people being imprisoned. And there he goes. King Potting Mix died under suspicious circumstances on the 25th, 8th moon, 6779 at the age of 69. Nice. Oh my god. 67, 7, 6, 6, 7, 7, 9, and at age 69. Very, very cool. It was a shame it's not year 69, 69. He was a man and was unyielding. He was a man, you're right, and was unyielding his devotion to his vows. King Potomix was merely a competent swordsman and not the warrior songs written off. He didn't actually forge that bloodline. So that's, that's not incorrect. I don't like it, but it's it's actually true. Why have we not got our... Get that equipped. Get that Valyrian Steel equipped. Done. Goodbye. Goodbye. We're almost out of debt, so that will obviously give us some opinion back. Um... We are also missing... Oh, hi, Admiral. Nice. We've got an honorary title to give out. Sure. Um, Edmund, you're not a landed... I'm looking for the landed characters here. Hedge Knights, Head Knights, Head... Oh, we can only give it to... D none, no Jukes. Jukes can't take that. Okay, that's fine. Because we'll give it to this. Yeah, but this guy already likes it a lot. We'll give it to this guy. Lord of Rushmore. There you go. Core position. We'll have to hire one when we've actually got some cash kicking around. Oh, I'd like to see in CK3 in hindsight. The ability to retroactively investigate suspicious deaths. 
Maybe maybe Singe a Spy Master, because that would actually give a Spy Master a use outside of just uncovering plots, which can be a bit pointless when you've got a nice stable realm. Um, oh. Oh, interesting. Uh, so these people are offering us a very, very good loan. 455 gold at an interest rate of 10% um, for five years. So we'd only have to pay back, what, like 490 gold. That's actually very good. Um, but they would want... Uh, but we're, 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 we're all with her. Oh, yeah, I don't really want to do that. We're, to edge a conflict with Lady... We're not at war with her, though. Oh, but she's joined the North. No, she hasn't? Oh, she's invading the North. Right, it's a rival... Rival... What, what do you mean? Lady Jane the Butworm? Why is she invading the North? What, because she's an Andal? She gets free invasion, Casabelle, against kingdoms? That seems a bit ridiculous. Fine. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, sure. We'll take whatever we can get to fight these bloody Andals, then, if they've also apparently got free kingdom invasions over the hell they feel like. Oh my god, speak of the devil and it shall appear. Alright, now we've also got to fight up another invasion wall. This is unreal. This is absolutely unreal. Oh, that's a, that's a bonus. Our enemy has died. <laughs> died in natural death at the age of 67. Well, that worked out pretty goddamn well, huh? Feel like it was... Or not. Or not. No, Joshua Tidwell this time. Are you kidding me? They can come with that much frequency. You think it'd be like, oh, at least a year fucking cooldown. Oh, piss off. Okay, it's all falling apart. Now nah, we're, we're... Am I going to have to white piece the north out? Oh, no, we can't. We're so close, though. But I, I worry that the, the, the Veil are going to... If we don't win it, the Veil are going to grab it, or one of these other fucking Shylocks are going to grab it instead. Okay, let's go for... Let's just start sieging something else. My god, this is this is unreal. Oh, she's dead. Thank you. Good. Um, just to, If only they could kill off now our current heir, that would be perfect. If she could die as well, she's in the dungeon, kill her off. If she dies, we're fine. Because then, then we get 50% wars go back and the war's over. Land. You weren't the one I asked for. Land is also dead. Maybe. Okay. I, I just got to. Maybe. Uh -huh. Kill another one. Uh, every time I ask, someone someone dies. So I just thought I'd give it a go. But. Wow. This is. um The difficulty in this is insane. We've put such a hard scenario. If nothing else, we've got more bloody people joining us here. So the north has actually been reduced more and more down to places that we can't siege. Because they're already sieged down by the guys over in the Vale. So if we're not quick with this, we might actually not have any... Oh, God. Fine, whatever. We might not have any land to actually try and take back for war score. Come on. 61%? Someone from... Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, go for, I guess, the Dreadfort then. Go for House Bolton next. We've got Breakstone Hill siege down. There's very little left to try and siege. Oh, God, this is going to suck. We, we can also go for Old Castle. That's another Dutchie kicking around. Don't care about you. Thank you. This is... This was not worth the effort. I'm going to be honest. It was worth the risk, to be honest. It was it was definitely worth the risk because, of course, when we win this war, which I think we still will, we will get the whole north out of it. So that is better than having them as a vassal and make it really difficult to retract and obviously deal with rebellions like this in the future. It, 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 it has given us a golden opportunity. And to be fair, I can still say that we haven't actually used the console here. So that's given us a bit, little bit of uh, moral authority too there. Let's take this one out. Let's take this one out. Let's take out the Dreadfort. And that will hopefully be... Oh, my God. We can't even. Fuck. Um... Okay, everyone join us, and let's just pray that'll be enough. My god. Uh, we have 100% war score. Why? Messed about. Oh my god. He was killed in personal combat. Holy shit, he died, and then this guy hasn't joined the war. Oh my fuck. Thank you. Thank you. Who would who killed him? A Alaric Icemark. Gift him. Gift this man. Holy shit, you legendary boy. I mean, we're just going to offer peace. Just off a piece. There we go. Boom. And quite successfully, you can see there that we have we have achieved our North Dream. Well, this, this will all come back together in a second. Oh, great. Now we've got to fight the Vale. We've got to fight someone in the Westlands. We've got to fight two animal invasions. But besides that, everything's fine. Everything's just completely hunky-dory. We'd barely even got to put a scratch in the Dreadfort either. Um, I mean, what do we do with these guys? Leave her be. She just becomes our vassal in Winterfell. I should judge her justly. Um, send her to the dungeon. She shall suffer the... Oh, my God. House Tully have joined Rebels. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, release the shit throne. Throw in the dungeon. I shall have her head. Execute her. Change fear by 10. We can actually execute her justly now. Because um, apparently she counts the rebel, even though she clearly doesn't. Hang her. Um, who, who is this? Uh, she did nothing wrong, to be fair. Trigger's hostage. I'll have her head. That would make us a tyrant. Um, take her as a hostage. The king of the north. The king in the north. There we go. First of his name, king of the north, king of the winter, and the first man, lord of sea guard and protector of the... Oh, my God. Have I got to put king of winter on my thing as well? King of north and king of winter. Update it. Update it. The neck and the north. Oh, I shouldn't have had that one going, should I? Um, and winter, apparently, by the way. That, that's something we've just been given. Oh, God, is it too long? <gasps> it's too long. It replaced it. Oh, what the hell? That sucks. I didn't realize there was a limit to it. I'm just going to write... No, it, it, it's actually not working. Um, that's awful. Okay, hang on. We might. I think this happened last time. There's a way around it. Uh, rivers and... 
the hills, and the neck, and then it does that. So then we have to uh, do that, right? And the neck and the north. You just got to be careful to backspace it at some stage. And... Oh, no, that is the limit. Shit. After that, it just gets replaced. Okay, fair enough. And the north. Unfortunately, that's as long as we can get it. But, hey, you know what? That's better than that's better than nothing. King of the north. King of the north. Um, have his head. Take him, take him as hostage. Fine. Okay, so now, in theory, all of these guys should join us again. Oh, no, we're still technically in a mega war, aren't we? Because we've got to fight the Vale now. Bollocks. But it's an offensive war from the part of the Vale. So if we trick them into the sea, they are going to give us a mountain of cash to make up for it. And to be fair, they haven't really got many troops kicking around. We might be okay here, and we've got to go with 29 Marshall on the center. Bear in mind what happened last time we had a character with high Marshall leading our armies. But, I think we'll be okay. I think we're actually going to make a huge amount of profit out of this, and keep the north for ourselves. I've got to very carefully get my armies together in a place that isn't going to get them all killed. So we've got, oh, we've got a lot of troops coming. Hang on, we can make them thrust our capital now, can't we? Oh, we have to be at peace. Okay, um, let's get these troops. Oh, man, this is going to be so difficult to try and merge all these units. All right, um, so we've got 9,000 men in the north alone. Uh, those guys can't get away, but we've got to remember we've got another thousand men that we've just set down there. So let's move all these guys up a little bit so that this army of sort of 7,000 Riverlanders... I'm only, I am concerned about them going and meeting up with the Vale, but they're in separate wars. So, oh, for fuck's sake, you should suffer the consequences. Fine. This is going to be tricky, because if our vassals smell us starting to fail this war, they're absolutely going to go into a rebellion, aren't they? So we need to be very... Oh, they're at least going to do that where they join the other side in the war. So we do have to be very careful about how we do this. Um... And where there's... Oh, fuck, he's got more people to ransom over to me. Fine, whoever she is. Um, you guys come and... Oh, I don't even know what to do here. Uh, okay, get rid of those, because they're not relevant. You Merge these troops together. Well, here goes nothing, I guess. And our allies are turning around. Brilliant, brilliant. Well, we, we seem to have it in the bag this time. We, we've absolutely nailed it. Okay, that's good. Now, that might not be the entire war. It certainly might not go very smoothly when we fight the Tullys as well. We have superior numbers. Oh, fuck, there's a defensive war too. This is unreal. This is so, so, so punishing. If you even so much, if the AI even gets a slightest whiff of an open door into your realm, they are just going for it. Everybody in their fucking mother, I don't know who half of you people are, and they're just, they're just gunning for us. There's just a slight bit of weakness, and they are just going absolutely buck wild on everybody we've ever known. Okay, well, oh, he wants peace. He wants peace? White peace. I might take that. I might take that white piece. Yeah, fuck it. I'll take it. I'm going to take it only because we've got so many other wars. I would love to push him to, uh, to to surrender so we obviously get the money out of it. But it's going to cost us money to obviously continue these wars. And I don't want to risk this. Honestly, I don't want to risk this much shit going down at once. All right. What happened to House Tully? Why are they not in rebellion anymore? Oh, you're just independent now. You're just independent now. I, as far as I recall, you won at 100% war score there. So I'm not sure about that one, Chief. I don't know. We'll see what happens after the Mega War. That might be another Mega War related glitch going on there. I might. I'm, I'm kind of tempted to turn off Mega Wars, I'll be honest. I like the system, but holy shit. It is so, so buggy sometimes, huh? This whole thing is because, being because of Mega War. Granted, I have pushed our advantage a little bit on that. But, man, it, it just seems it just seems like it could do with a lot more time in the oven. To, to, uh, more, than, more than many series have we had with this going on. So who, am I, who am I fighting here? Who are you? Liberation of South Snow. Where? Right, take that one out first. We're gonna go through the. We're literally gonna go through these walls in order of how close we are to losing them. That's it. Fuck the rest of it. I mean, I don't know who. I don't even know who this king is. You're the king of what? Sorry. When stop? When war to Delston? That's not ours. We don't care about that war. Friend of slave raid on the neck. That is kind of our war, but really not important. Liberation of houses. So that one's important. That one's important. That one's important. So it's just these three. Lady Alas invasion on the north. How many troops you got? Four thousand eight hundred. Where? Are, where are these troops? Point. Point them to me. She looks like. She, what's her symbol? It's. Uh, it's her, right? Spin these troops around, kill her first. We'll deal with this one, then we'll go for these other ones because they're only sort of minor uprisings, rebellions, whatever else. All right, here we go. This is going to be a fairly big battle. You can't just le you can't just leave. You can't just leave. Come back. We've got a Valyrian uh, Valyrian dragon rider on our right flank. So even with these other two, oh thank God. Whoa, man, that's going to life out of me. Then we're fine. Nothing to worry about. That's not ours. Oh shit, we got to replace a debt to someone too. What debt? We've never once taken a loan in this, oh, except for the one from. Uh, the one from those guys who agreed to fund us. But it's certainly... That's not her. Right. So that war is basically dealt with now. I'm fine with it. Um, Siege of Nuns Deep did that say Nice. Okay. Very cool. Um, then we've got to deal with these ones next. To be fair, we could just maybe even drop our troops and re-raise them down closer south rather than running all the way back. And honestly, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because that's actually not a bad idea. Okay. Drop those guys. Uh, re-raise them. Preferably where we're not going to get dogpiled. Let's get them all over to Seaguard or something. Um, maybe also avoid getting... 
getting just caught randomly where it's not necessary. Um, I might even just drop these guys here. So we focus on these troops here. Nice. Then we'll raise our our vassal mercenaries who are not looking in such a good shape right now. Bring them down to like, bring them down to like here. That should work out fine. No, don't do that. Um, go that way first. Then is that House Baratheon? Durandon? Okay. Um, has he got claims on that? He's got claim on the Stormlands. Holy shit, suddenly that Storm King's, King's ground we've got sitting around in our treasury could find a use. Thank you and goodbye. That's that one done. Getting 100 prestige. Is that not that war over? There we go. I was going to say, right. Liberation Southstone done. Thank you very much. Right, so there's the armies of the people trying to launch the invasion on the north. And they are apparently making their getaway here, which is going to be <laughs> nice and frustrating if they actually do manage it. We're taking a slightly faster route. Uh, Aztecs, by the way, I disabled the Aztecs like I said I would, so they haven't got any troops whatsoever, so don't, don't panic. Um, oh, they're going for Sea Guard. That's brave. That's brave, but they're certainly not going to be able to do it with just that few many men. Um, it will be known as the Ferris of Fair Market. Hosta, the Ferris of Fair Market with his tuberculosis. Good. Um, you deserve a good name. There you go. The, the Ferris. You should be remembered when you die inevitably next week. Right. K kill them all. Kill them all. They're going to Old Stones. Um, should we go to Sea Garden and then loop round, or should we go via Old Stones through to Sea Garden? That makes more sense. Ask politely for that man not to be a shit, because I've had enough of people being shits today. You're done. Is that not the end of the war? Oh, they've got something occupied, you bitch. Okay, um... <laughs> fine, alright, whatever, we'll pay your ransom. Now, this war, we're actually actively losing quite massively. So, we need to uh, we need to send reinforcements down there pretty post-haste. Um, we'll start, we'll, we'll get everyone to a minute's rest, and then we'll move down from there afterwards. In fact, we could probably move a little bit closer than that, huh? Our daughter who spent most of her life in an oubliette came out of naive pizza. I'm gonna throw her into the ocean. Hopefully she dies. She's stressed. Can we, can we, like, demand her... Oh, God, she's so bad. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. Silty mud. Incredibly garbage. Um, Grumanet. I wouldn't. I would not say she counts for that. I would not say she counts for that. Oh, my God. We get another marsh out of this. We're going to have 32 marsh by the end of it and two empires in our in, under our belt. So, I think I'll take that one. Can we quickly... Oh, come on. Quickly salt this down. Shit. They are at minus 100%. We need to do something here. If we get into a battle, I don't think... Fuck off. Oh, get out of here with that shit. I'm so annoyed. I'm, I'm done. That's it. I'm done for today. I can't handle anymore. I cannot... Fuck that. Look, what are you talking about? You can't just declare war on me and drop 15,000 troops on my army. That's fucking terrible. Some of the designs in this make me really question why this is my favorite my favorite CK2 mod. Honestly, this is... I'm out. That's it. I'm done. For I can't take any more because I'm actually going to have a fucking heart attack in real life. Me and Hemen, we're going together to the grave because this is doing my fucking head in. That is not on. That is not... This This is bad game mechanic right here. You see this? Not on. Fuck off. Just get out of here. Fucking handles. Fucking out. This is what the first men felt. This is what they felt. Because I'm, I'm sympathizing with these people. This is not cultural appropriation. I'm on board. I'm one of them people at this stage. By you people, I mean, I mean like, you know, like, hey, we're first men together in this, right? Thank you to Aiden W, Alchemia, Anthony Gully, Suna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Ben Hoffman, Chesty, Croesus, Donald, Doolan of Gunland, Fakula Vasquez, Ghost of Protocol, Gogol, Sarik, James Shade, Jimbo, Jonah Waters, Justin Wallace, Kaden Carter, Michael Bullen, My Name Is Dio, Muskratful, Nabuskus, No. 1, Necrophilin, Palpus Presley, Rodin Richard Clark, Scott Scaz, Meg Mustaine, Somnus the Forsaken One, Seabed Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Tyler McClam, Vacuous Backers, Void Prince Kibo, William Green, and Zazzy 7011. For their support, the insane tier loves on Patreon. Thank you for better or for worse for making this series possible. Big appreciation to these guys. And a smaller but still significant appreciation. Am I allowed to say that to Uwu Daddy, Astro, Adam Person, Andrew Walsh, Andrew Wilson, Anka, Attila, Austin Taylor, Bordzoom, Ben Trope, Ben Gunn, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Black Double H, Chris, Corgi Circus, Corey CA, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Conning 217, Emerald Beam, Exploded Knees, Gaz, Genji Circus, Gothamo, Grey, Haji Dumar, Icarus, Ice of the Grey, Ida C, Jackson P, Jay Lara, Jacob Wolfie, James Barnes, Jason Sushu, Jose, Jeebus Cross, Yoran DeVries, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beer, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Luana Thomas, Luke Wallace, Miss Stolp, Monty, Mostly Samson, Nathan Flores, Nostrus, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Organized Confusion, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Payback 137, Peyton Dennis, Rush Nolan Billionaire, Ryan Hooper, Sagatair, Sam Kears, Sherry, Smirt One, Smooth Octopus, Socrates, Super Nanny 089, The Insane Pickle, The One Ring, Falon Crew, Varagon, Voodoo Mumbo, Will Wade, Wilson, Tep, Wolfie, Yellow Four, Yorkus, Zach, and Sicko 2. Fuck this shit, I'm out.